Christina Hardy with School Community Relations. We're out here at Reed Elementary School where they've been doing curbside food delivery service for the past several weeks now. And we're going to learn how they're going to continue food service throughout the summer. Hey, I'm John. So hi Jennifer. <laughs> Thanks for meeting with us today. Of course. This is exciting. This is our food service delivery. Y'all are doing food service delivery during remote learning. And now you're transitioning into the summer feed program. But here we are. Uh, today is the last day of school. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what's going through your mind right now. Uh, it's a lot. I mean, it's the last day of school. It's not how we all intended it to be, but it's still pretty cool that we actually get to serve the kids and get to see the kids' reactions on the last day of school for lunch services. So just walk us through your day. Where do you start? And we can literally walk like through your day. Usually we just come in, get our temperature taken because um, the situation is going on now. We come in and we just prep up and get everything set up for our day. We have one team that does that and then we have another team that comes in here and they're making the food. Oh, wow. So we prep up the, the lunch items and then we prep up the breakfast items. We have one person that'll help with cooking the breakfast and we have one that's cooking the lunch items. When do they start? When do they start prepping the food, getting everything ready to go? First thing in the morning, we start like 6.30, 7 o'clock. Wow. 9 o'clock is when we actually start cooking our hot foods for our lunch items. So we all come out here, we set up our tents. We're using the ice cream cooler, so we put the milk and our breakfast items in there. Okay. And then we'll bring the racks out here. There is a system of operation out here as you rotate the food from over here to the actual de delivery point. Yes. Wow! Yes. Tell us a little bit about the kids that you see every day. You must have some really remarkable stories about them. It's really great to, one, see the kid, and they really like get excited for their bags. It's like when they go to McDonald's and they get their kids meal. They're really excited about it and it, you know that just brings them out of us because that's what we're here for. And too, it's like it just brings tears to your face because it's so special. It is and we wish we could just like yank the, the mask and the sunglasses off and just give them big hugs and smiles, but you know. Tell me a little bit about this new role of, of being essential. It's really honoring to be calling an essential employee. When they gave us these t-shirts, it's like, you know, it's like an honor to get like a trophy shirt. It's just essential. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm just serving lunch. Like I'm blessed to actually come to work and do this, you know, in a time that this is, you know, that we're in. But to give the blessing back to them is even bigger. So typically child nutrition services would take a week off between the end of school until they started back with food delivery service. Instead, they're just going to make a seamless transition. So Monday through Friday, you can expect curbside food delivery service here at Reed Elementary, Running Brushy Middle School, and River Place Elementary School from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m.